Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Tony Hunt, and as you can see, we are in my beautiful art studio today. We are gonna be reviewing a pastel set. Uh, the pastel set for today is going to be the D Diane Townsend Cloud Set. I'm gonna get into this in just a second, but I wanted to say if you like me to review pastels and other art supplies, I think I'm gonna make this some, a series and do a couple a month for you. Because I have gotten a few pastel sets that I think people might be interested to see. So stay tuned for more if you enjoy these kind of videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so today we're gonna talk about this set right here. All right, now I got this off of the Dakota Pastel website. I believe this set was around $55. Now Dakota Pastels, they have their own brand of pastels, which I'm going to be maybe purchasing and reviewing for you. But they also have a sampler set that I was really intrigued by, and I think I'm gonna get one of those because they have all kinds of different uh, pastels from different uh, manufacturers so you can try out which one you like in a color family. I thought that was a really good idea. So in the future, I am going to have maybe that review up. But today, it's this guy right here. Now, as I said, this was $55 on the Dakota Pastel website. I'm going to have their uh, website down below for you in case you want to get your own. And uh, she has, Diane Townsend, she has a lot of different sets that are really good. So, and she has a few different kinds of pastels. So that's really important. Uh, these are her soft pastels. But I know she has a couple of other different kinds that have more grit in it. So they might be better for like a base of your pastel work instead of like, these are probably gonna be one of the last layers I use in one of my paintings. So just keep that in mind. She has different kinds of pastels with different grades of hardness and textures. So that's kind of fun too. But let's open this up and see what she looks like. Okay, so there she is. Now my lights just don't pick this up that great, and I'm gonna zoom you in closer here in a moment. But this is the cloud set, and as you can see, they're, they're all neutrals. A lot of them just look white in my camera, but they're not. And that's very important because clouds have so many different tones of lightish white, gray, you know, you have some blues, some lavenders, some peaches in there that make your clouds really interesting. So uh, as you can see, mine came a little beat up. Um, it was packaged really good though. So uh, there's just nothing else that can be done sometimes when you're sending pastels in the mail. Um, this doesn't upset me too much. Uh, this one is very crumbled. A couple of them, as you can see, are, are broken up. That's okay because I usually break my pastels up anyway. Um, I like to use little different um, areas to get different textures for my pastels. So I am going to actually unwrap these and probably break them in half regardless. So it's not the end of the world that they come in pieces. That might upset some people, but um, if that upsets you, you might not want to order them through the mail because if they are a soft pastel, this is what's going to happen. All right, let me swing you around and we can get looking into this a little further. So as you've seen previously, this is the box, Diane Townsend, Townsend Artist Pastels. And there they are. A few of them are awfully crumbled, but we're going to work around that. I think these are just very soft and you just, there's no way that these are going to come not crumbly. I mean, some of them made it. So yeah, I'm going to go through, take the wrappers off, probably break them up into little pieces and do some swatches for you. All right. I wanted to show you guys this. These are numbered. Um, this is 72. And this one's 83. And these are hand rolls. So it looks like somebody went through and actually hand wrote the numbers of the pastels on there. So if you run out, you can get more. And this is 67D. All right, guys. Well, when I started taking the wrappers off, as you can see, some of these are so broken apart that they're almost unusable. I mean, I have like a couple of decent sized bits but that is, that's pretty bad. Those are pretty bad. So I'm actually going to email Dakota and see if that something can be done about this. Because I don't have a problem with it getting broke up. Even if they were in bigger chunks like this, I probably wouldn't say a whole lot. But some of these, like, I can't use that. I only have this one little piece of it. 
and uh, like I said, it was packaged really well. I'm not sure what happened, but look at that, right? Um, they're not that soft, so uh, I'm not sure what happened. If it got crushed, maybe somebody stepped on it. I don't know because these are okay, but this side is really bad. So I'm going to email them, see what they say, include it in this video. Perhaps I'll get a new set or just see, and I will uh, be back. Fast forward a few weeks. And the wonderful people at Dakota Pastels have replaced the ones that were crushed. So can, they are really excellent to work with. I tell you what, I sent off an email the next day they answered me. Wanted to know which ones were in really bad condition. I told them what numbers and they sent these right out to me. So the replacements look like this. I mean, same pastels, but these I'm sure they grabbed from open stock. And these all came in wonderful shape. All right, so I'm going to add these to that set. And just like that, we have our pastels broken in half and ready to go. Now, I took out all that mess and put in my new ones. And this was the only pieces that were usable out of that end. So I am glad I went ahead and contacted them. But these look beautiful. And another thank you to Dakota Pastels. Their customer service was excellent. And I will be buying more future purchases. Anyway, this is the pastels all swatched out. And I realize in my camera, all the slight undertones is not showing up as they are in person. And you're going to have that. But I'm not sure if there's a real white. This might, this 83L might be white. I didn't look on the website to see. This might be a pure white, but it's hard to tell. But all the other ones... They, they all have subtle differences. They have a neutral, warm undertones. This one's more of a greeny yellow, pinks, violets. So a pretty good, um, a pretty good variety of off-whites, I would like to say. So this is going to work out great. I'm going to get set up and do a little demo of doing some clouds with these. All right, this is just a piece of probably pastel matte. It's not sanded, it's bluish. I'm gonna try my best just to use these in this cloud. Um, I've got some other ones put to the side. I might need some darks, so we'll just have to see. Basically, I'm just gonna play. This isn't anything special or intricate, so I'm just testing these out.
I'm going to stop it right there. I think I've done enough to at least get some final thoughts for you real quick. These are a lot harder than what I'm used to. These are pretty hard pastels for soft pastels, which is fine. I'm used to these light colors being very soft and they're not. So it's hard for me to get my little wispies going in my clouds. That just might be a learning curve because I've never used Diane Townsend pastels before. But one other thing I have to say, I mean, I had to incorporate this gray color here because this one just doesn't go dark enough. And I could use a few darker either than that. Because, you know, when you're looking at clouds, some of those shadows are very pronounced and dark. So this could have had some more depth to the set. And I would have been a lot happier. Um, a couple of these colors are really close. So maybe just went a little darker. Maybe purple. Maybe a navyish color. That would have completed this set. I think it would have made a rounder set for me. But um, they're very nice to work with once you get past how hard they are. These might be better suited in my work for a different thing. I don't have many light shades of pastel that are hard. So if I want to put down a first layer and have it light, this is this is what I'm going to reach for. I don't have all my light colored pastels are really soft. So it's nice to get some that aren't. So this is going to have a use for me. It just might not be those cloud the cloud set I was looking for, which is fine. Everybody likes different things. But yeah, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, just because it doesn't quite have the color depth that I want. And I'm not used to working with light colors that are that are hard like that for when I'm doing my highlights. So, there you have it. Well, thank you for joining me in this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment down below any other pastel sets that you would like me to review. I may just pick it up and review it for you. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.